Good morning, KCE families. I hope you had a great weekend. It is hard to believe, but this first part of our school year is coming to a close this week. And as you saw in our reopening update last Friday from our executive director, this is officially our last week of 100% fully virtual learning that we started the school year with. Given that, we are ending this week with a lot of fun and a lot of KCE spirit and pride. So this week is our virtual spirit week. Today is pajama day. Tomorrow is college pride day. Wednesday is backwards day. Thursday is sports day. And Friday, we're ending with fashion Friday. So we would love to see pictures that you share of your child showing their KCE spirit at home during Spirit Week. So thank you for sending and sharing pictures. And we love to see our families joining in the fun too. Um, so please share with us what's happening at home. Lots of reopening updates to share. As a reminder, they are always linked on our website. I have also linked to this post, Hannah Powell's latest letter. So please review and definitely reach out if you have any questions. Beginning October 26th, KIPP Columbus will be reopening with a hybrid model. So beginning the week of the 26th, those students who are enrolled in KIPP on campus will return to campus in a hybrid learning model, a week on, week off model. Students who are enrolled at KIPP at home will continue learning remotely through December. As a reminder, our KIPP at home enrollment model is 100% virtual learning. Those students are not returning to campus yet. Those who opted into our KIPP on campus learning model will be returning in a hybrid week on, week off model. Looking at the calendar for the next couple of weeks, this is our last week of remote learning for our entire school together. We also will have virtual family Q&A sessions this week, which I will talk more about. And then next week, there is not school. KIPsters will have an extended fall break while our teachers return for professional development and we will also be having family orientations on Zoom next week. Then the week of October 26th, KIPP at Home resumes with virtual instruction and KIPP on campus in our hybrid model begins. This week, you will receive a lot of information. For those of you with a child enrolled in KIPP on campus, you will get confirmation if your child is in the A group or the B group for our hybrid model, and this is based off of geographic location in Columbus. For our KIPP at home families, you will receive confirmation if your child's synchronous instruction for that live Zoom portion of their day will be in the morning or the afternoon. And for those of you that requested an enrollment change between KIPP at home or KIPP on campus, you will receive confirmation this week if KIPP is able to accommodate a learning model enrollment change if that is something you requested. This does mean because of our hybrid model that many of our KIPsters will have a new teacher for the second part of our school year. So all of that information will be coming to you this week. There is a video that was linked in Miss Powell's letter. So I have also included that in this dojo message. You can watch the KIPP Columbus Welcome Back to Campus video to see a lot of the health and safety measures we have in place. We are so excited to see our KIPsters in just a couple weeks. The family Q&A sessions this week are for all of KIPP Columbus and they will be Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I've copied the Zoom links here in this message so that you can log in, hear more information, and get your questions answered. And then as a reminder specific to this week, we do have our flu shot at KIPP here on Tuesday from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. We're hoping to have as many KIPsters and, and families receive flu shots as possible um, so that we're all staying safe this flu season. So either call the number on the screen and the flyer to schedule an appointment or walk-ins are also welcome. As I said, we're so excited to have our KIPP on campus students back at the end of this month. We know with the shift to a hybrid model, there are a lot of questions and we also have a lot of information to share. So thank you for your continued partnership. Please reach out directly to me if you have any questions and we will be in touch again this week with more information specific to your child and the learning model that you've selected for these next few weeks. One team, one family, have a great week.